having a snack, having a snooze and having a wonder. It's not too different from what the rest of us might do in Green Park. <laughs> Well, maybe not that bit, but whilst the location might be lost on the sheep, it isn't lost on those passing by. You girls are from Wales, are you? Yeah. So you're used to seeing sheep. Yeah. Did you think you'd come to London and find them in the middle of the park? Not really. Near the palace? Yeah. They're amazing. It's just makes such a change. I like the uh, one with a little <laughs> quip on the front. Although he's been a bit lazy, he's just been lying down and eating the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> remind you of anyone? Well, yeah. A bit like me, really. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, also picnicking in the park today is a bit of a cow. Now I say that because it's hard to believe that this little lady is a fully fledged cow, but she really is. She's a miniature and her name, can you guess? No, probably not. It's Twiglet. Wait for it. <laughs> Thank you, Twiglet. <laughs> Sheep sharing in Hyde Park. Grazing in the Royal Parks hasn't happened properly since the 30s, but this is the third year these girls have come here on holiday from Mudshoot Farm. And why? Well, the rare breeds eat the grass in the meadow, that allows certain wildflowers to grow, and that increases the number of insects and animals. With them is their unlikely sheepdog somewhere. Where is Mavis? Mavis. Here she is. Oh, I do love a dog. Mavis, come here. Mavis. And their Maybe. farmer, yeah. Tom. And the cow, she's, I mean, she is busy, isn't she? She's mooing away. Yeah, what, Twiglet, what's... she's going around meeting everyone and making sure that they know that she's here. Um, and the reason we've got the cow is, like I said, because cattle and sheep graze in different ways right. that complement each other. Green Park has family days this week, so you can bring the kids and catch this rare sight and rack it. Yeah. 